Hello everybody, I'm glad you're here today. I'm going to get right to it. I'm bringing you a dream that my daughter had on the exact same day that my mother had a dream and that my father had a dream. All three of them, I believe the dreams coincide together. They weave together with a an overall message. Um, now then, this dream that my daughter had was on March 27th, 2023. This is April 11th, 2023. I am sorry for the delay in bringing you this dream uh, since my mother's last dream that I brought you about the countdown. Please go watch that if you get a chance because this dream, it was so weird how they go together and neither one of my daughter nor my mother talked to each other before they told me about these dreams. There are elements that are the same in each of these dreams, which that blew my mind i don't i get i maybe other people are walking in this and it happens all the time but it, this was that was new to me so that's why it's real important for you for me to bring this to you i'm sorry for the delay as i was saying my daughter is a nurse an rn at a at a nursing home nearby and um she's been working nights and so her schedule's been kind of it's been hard to connect with her trying to talk this dream out now then, this dream is very much in line with how she has dreamt in the past. She does not dream often uh, words from God, but she has, and usually they are very apocalyptic in nature. This dream uh, is aligned with that. It has the same characteristics. I'm not sure why God uh, uses her in that regard, but I believe he does because she's the youngest one that's dreaming right now in our family. And it affects her generation the most. That's what I think. Um, please tell me what you think. Because sometimes I'm just not even on the right um, on the right line with God. But I mean, I try as we all do. Um, I've tried with this dream to bring it to you as well as interpret it. It is a warning dream. Let's see, I'm two minutes in, I'm telling you. It is a warning dream. It's not very long. It's kind of a blip of an overall dream. So I'm gonna bring that to you in just a minute. A couple of things you need to know about this dream that are personally related to us that, that uh, matter in the interpretation. First of all, there is the name Grimsley in this dream. Grimsley is a family that we're friends with. They are believers. Uh, the main person my daughter interacts with in that uh, family, his name is David Grimsley. And the, I think that's what that means in this dream is David. And the name David means beloved. So I think that's what the connection was in this dream, the metaphor, the symbolic meaning. Uh, also, um, like I said, um, Taylor, my daughter, dreams um, usually about the future of the nations, uh, often about war. Uh, so that's, that's part of this dream. This dream in the Bible, I believe has to do with Jeremiah 17, 1. Jeremiah 17, 1. The sin of Judah is inscribed with an iron chisel engraved with a diamond point on their hearts and on the corners of their altars. So I think that, keep that in mind as I read this dream to you. Uh, okay, we'll just go. We'll just go now. Sorry for any delay. If I hope you just fast forwarded four minutes to finally get into the dream. Now then, there was a whole pre-dream that I don't think was prophetic, but the lead up to the prophetic part was Taylor was in a church situation and she is a solid believer anyway, uh, but she was in a church situation that did not seem, did not make sense to her. So she was leaving it. And as she was leaving this worship kind of situation there was an actress at the door and a man okay so that's where the prophetic part of this dream begins she was leaving 
and walk this worship walk through a door an actress is there and a large man in a red plaid shirt like a lumberjack and she immediately was afraid of him and she ran out and he chased her and he had kind of a red glowing light around him she started running down the street and it was like running in circles she kept coming to the point she was running away from uh, and she looked to her right and there were two spears fighting each other but no people it was just spears in the air hitting each other and fighting the man in the plaid shirt was standing he was huge now he was standing over the spears uh as if he was conducting it the spear on the left had a diamond flag on the tip it was orange and green like a flag with images of diamonds on the tip of the spear the right spear had the name Grimsley on the handle but as she was looking at it that handle and the name Grimsley turned into the American flag and they were both like bronze made out of bronze the tip of the American spear as she was watching it the tip of the American spear turned into like a, an orb or rounded blunted and there was this feeling that this man that was over these spears was Satan and she said something like in the name of Jesus leave me alone and the dream ended okay now do not laugh at her art but this is what it looked like um, this was the the man in the lumberjack and this was the spear this is what the flag looks like on the tip of the spear and it I don't know the diamonds were white um, then the Grimsley turned into the United States flag and they were fighting and then this man with the beard and the lumberjack shirt on um, was kind of over all of it was the energy behind it that's the end of that dream now then y'all I'm going to do my best to bring you what I, my thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts on this dream. I personally believe, watching the world events right now, that there is a um, there is a a darkness. There is a force that um, is fighting against each other, and we're we're seeing the rise of a new world order I believe that we I, I'm no expert but we're might be seeing the rise of a new currency uh, we're definitely seeing three different fronts of possible world war that the United States may be involved in Ukraine the Middle East and Taiwan uh, the things the conflicts in the world are escalating they are not diffusing and that's what I think this dream is about now then uh, the only thing I the I don't know about colors y'all I don't know what the different colors mean I kind of do vaguely I'm not a learned student in that I know that orange and green orange is made up of red and yellow green is made up of blue and yellow and my best guess on that y'all uh, and I'm please bring your thoughts is that those represent the BRICS flags I was looking at all the flags that or the fight the the Brazil Russia India China South Africa those are the best the BRICS Alliance and there's a lot of countries signing up with them right now and they've just announced that they're gonna start their new currency so I think that's part of this dream uh, the diamonds 
on that dream, diamonds are the hardest surface, natural surface in the world, is my understanding. I think that when there's diamonds on the tip of that flag, uh, I think that's in reference to Jeremiah 17, 1, that there are sins on the rebellious people who will not repent and follow Christ. There are sins on their hearts that are chiseled, engraved with a diamond point on their hearts and on the corners of their altars. They, it's inscribed because they don't know Jesus. Those who do know Jesus those sins have been erased and the ones who follow him and believe in him which brings me to um, um, Grimsley David beloved I believe that that spear that said Grimsley probably might be the remnant in the United States the beloved God's beloved i I think that's what that means. Man, I wrestled with that a long time because Grimsley, the name means dark meadow. And I was like, mm, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not feeling that, but m maybe, you know, I talked to Taylor about it. I said, when I say Grimsley, what do you think of? She said, David. I mean, she didn't say dark meadow or, uh, or I don't know. But so that's what I think. It's the beloved and the beloved in the United States, because that spear became the spear of the United States with the United States flag on it. So I think that represents the beloved in the United States, the remnant. Because right now, it seems to me like there are a lot of churches that are too institutionalized. And I don't want to be harsh or judgmental, but uh, it might be time to kind of reel in some of the stuff we do in institutional churches that aren't necessary, that aren't necessary. <laughs> uh, and I think there's a remnant of people who are like, let's just meet at home. Let's just get back to Jesus at the very center of it all. Um, I think that's what Grimsley represents, and that's in the United States. Now, it was on the handle. Grimsley was on the handle, and the United States flag was on the handle, not on the point. And I wondered if that might mean it. we will be able to handle what's going to happen in the United States when this conflict brought about by the enemy, by our enemy, Satan, uh, when that happens, we're going to be able to handle it because we are God's beloved. We are his children. We will be fine. Regardless, if they, if they execute all of us, we're still fine because death has no power over us. So that's what I think that means, that the beloved will be able to handle this conflict that's going to affect the United States. I do not think it's an accident that the tip of the spear became blunted or like an orb. That will not be able, We that can't defend us. A spear fighting against another spear that's blunted that isn't going to, isn't going to win. <laughs> And not that I, not, I'm not saying our enemy is going to win. He's already lost. He's already lost the battle. Uh, we've won. We are victorious in Christ. Read Revelation. Uh, but in the meantime, we live in the fallen world. And so, uh, I think we're going to be able to handle whatever is happening. I know we are. And I think that's what God is telling us in this dream. Now, the fact that the enemy, Satan, looked like a lumberjack. Lumberjacks cut down trees. My mother's dream had a Russian in it that looked like a lumberjack. And one of the main things in her dream was watching a movie. This is my mother's dream, the one I brought last time. And the, move, the name of the movie is Countdown. 
the countdown has begun or something like that man i need to go back and read that uh and the movie had already begun uh let me see uh, if i can find the name of the movie uh yeah the name of the movie was countdown yeah the name of the movie was countdown sorry about that and uh when they got to the movie theater it had already begun I believe the countdown to whatever this conflict is has begun. I believe it's going to affect the remnant in the United States. I believe God knows we are his beloved and we need to remember we are his children. We will be able to handle whatever happens. But be ready because I don't think things are going to look the same. I don't think our world, our lives are going to be the same for very much longer. In the meantime, brace yourself, get ready for any kind of situation, EMP, nuclear, World War III, get your preps in order, water, medical supplies. The world is changing at a very rapid pace. Persecution might be coming, but remember, this dream gives us hope. The enemy may be doing all this stuff but we are his beloved we are the lord's beloved we are children of the king we are co-heirs with christ a holy priesthood we are the light of the world we have the authority in christ through the holy spirit within us we are god's temple housing the holy spirit every step we take is holy ground hold on to that y'all Hold on to that because that's the good news. That's the news we rejoice in and are joyful in no matter what happens in this world. All right. Stay tuned. My dad had a dream on this same night. I'll bring that as soon as I can. We do have things happening in our family that's kind of squirrely. But um, I'll bring it to you as soon as I can. And um, until then, stay very close to Christ. Stay in prayer. That is our biggest weapon, prayer. This is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.